While Starship stands tall as the world's most ambitious rocket, the path to making it operational remains shrouded in challenges that few understand. At a towering 121 meters, when fully stacked and designed to generate an unprecedented 7,600 metric tons of thrust, this engineering marvel isn't just pushing boundaries, it's redefining them entirely. But here's what most headlines don't tell you. Starship is nowhere near ready for operational missions. Years of development still lie ahead before this Titan will reliably carry humans or payloads into the cosmos. Unlike previous rocket programs, SpaceX has no blueprint to follow, no existing model to reference. Every advancement comes through painstaking trial and error in the unforgiving environments of the upper atmosphere in space. The recent Flight 8 failure perfectly illustrates this reality. What started as a promising launch ended with the vehicle spinning out of control before ultimately exploding. A dramatic reminder of the immense challenges still facing the Starship program. These persistent issues have forced SpaceX into making difficult decisions about the current version of Starship, decisions that might even lead to its complete abandonment. In today's deep dive, we're examining exactly what went wrong during Flight 8, what these failures mean for Starship's future, and why SpaceX might be on the verge of unveiling an entirely new version of their interplanetary spacecraft. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in the world of SpaceX and beyond. Let's dive right in. SpaceX's approach to rocket development has always been revolutionary. But with Starship, they've taken innovation to unprecedented heights. About a year ago, facing the immense complexity of building humanity's most ambitious spacecraft, SpaceX made a strategic pivot. Instead of making endless incremental adjustments, they introduced a structured versioning system, officially designating their progress as Starship 5-1, V-2, and V-3. This wasn't just a marketing gimmick. When you're building something with no historical precedent, something that pushes engineering boundaries in every dimension, you need a framework to organize your progress. At 121 meters tall with planned thrust exceeding 7,600 metric tons, every aspect of Starship requires pioneering solutions discovered through real-world testing. Before this versioning system, SpaceX relied on serial number prototypes, the now legendary SN series. Those early tests from SN5 through SN15 focused on fundamental capabilities, the unique belly flop maneuver, landing sequences, and basic aerodynamics. Each explosive failure provided critical data. Each success validated their approach. When Zen 15 finally stuck its landing, it marked the end of an era. SpaceX was ready to aim higher. Starship V1 represented the first attempt at a complete integrated system, the full stack combining the Starship upper stage with its super heavy booster. The April 2023 integrated flight test captured global attention, but ended catastrophically when the vehicle failed to separate properly, resulting in the destruction of both stages. This failure revealed a crucial insight. Starship would need hot staging, a technique where the upper stage ignites its engines before fully separating from the booster, to achieve efficient stage separation. This lesson directly informed the development of V2. Starship V2 introduced several major upgrades, hot staging rings, improved Raptor 2 engines, and reinforced heat shields. This version first flew during Flight 7 with Booster 9 and Ship 25, and then again in Flight 8 with Booster 10 and Ship 34. These missions demonstrated remarkable progress. The successful catching of the Super Heavy Booster using the Mechazilla arms during Flight 8 was a historic achievement in rocket reusability. However, both flights revealed persistent issues with the Starship upper stage. Flight 7 suffered a fuel leak leading to explosion, while Flight 8 experienced multiple engine failures and ultimately lost control. These recurring problems, pressure issues, fuel leaks, and failed engine ignitions have raised serious questions about V2's reliability for operational missions. The evidence suggests that V2's fundamental design may be inadequate for SpaceX's ambitious goals, pushing the company toward the next evolution. Starship V3. V3 represents more than incremental improvement. It's a comprehensive redesign addressing V2's core weaknesses. The most significant upgrade will be the transition from Raptor 2 to Raptor 3 engines. 
The Raptor engine's evolution tells a story of relentless improvement. The original Raptor one generated approximately 185 tons of thrust with a design so complex it hampered manufacturing. Raptor 2 pushed output to 230 tons while simplifying production, but still suffered reliability issues, particularly with fuel containment. Raptor 3 aims to deliver over 250 tons of thrust with chamber pressures exceeding 330 bar. Extraordinary performance coupled with substantially improved reliability. The new engine will feature a redesigned ignition system, directly addressing the failures observed in Flight 7 and 8, where engines failed to ignite at critical moments. These enhancements will dramatically improve both performance and reusability, two pillars of SpaceX's long-term vision. V3's improvements extend beyond engines to enhance fuel capacity, where V2's Super Heavy Booster held approximately 4,500 tons of propellant and the upper stage carried 2,300 tons, V3 will increase these capacities to over 4,500 tons for the booster and approximately 2,500 tons for the upper stage. This additional fuel translates directly to greater range, heavier payload capacity, and more efficient orbital refueling operations. The heat shield, perhaps V2's most visible weakness, is undergoing complete reconceptualization. Previous test flights revealed multiple failure modes, tiles detaching during flight, uneven heating causing structural damage, and inadequate protection in critical areas. V3 addresses these issues with stronger attachment methods, more heat-resistant materials, and improved aerodynamic profiles to reduce thermal stress during re-entry. Another critical upgrade focuses on the hot staging system. Previous implementations caused dangerous pressure buildup and damage to the vehicle's lower sections. V3 will feature a reinforced hot staging ring, modified engine startup sequences to minimize stress, and strengthened interstage structures to prevent separation damage. Beyond these specific improvements, V3 incorporates general structural enhancements, including stronger, more heat-resistant materials and thicker stainless steel walls. These modifications will help Starship withstand higher launch pressures, greater aerodynamic forces, and more extreme heating during re-entry. As SpaceX prepares for Flight 9 following Flight 8's failure, many wonder what comes next. Current projections place this launch in mid to late 2025, contingent on FRAA regulatory approvals. Flight 9 will likely utilize Booster 11 and Ship 35, technically still part of the V2 architecture, but incorporating valuable lessons from previous failures. Booster 11 is expected to feature significant improvements in engine reliability, fuel pressurization systems, and structural reinforcement. Ship 35 will focus on addressing hot staging challenges, heat shield durability, and orbital operations capabilities. The primary objectives for Flight 9 include testing complete recovery operations, particularly the booster catch mechanism, and gathering critical data for NASA's Artemis program and commercial partners planning future Starship missions. While still using V2 hardware, Flight 9 will incorporate elements that bridge toward V3's more comprehensive redesign. The transition from V2 to V3 represents more than technical evolution. It reflects SpaceX's unyielding commitment to making fully reusable heavy lift spaceflight a reality. Each failure, each explosion, each unexpected challenge contains valuable lessons that drive the program forward. The path to the stars isn't straight or predictable, but with each iteration, humanity moves closer to becoming a truly multi-planetary species. While Starship Derived 2 has reached its developmental limits, the lessons learned from its successes and failures are invaluable. The path to revolutionary spaceflight has never been smooth. Each explosion, each unexpected challenge, has provided critical data that propels us forward. What we're witnessing isn't failure, but evolution in real time. V3 represents more than just another iteration. It's the culmination of years of hard-won knowledge, the bridge between experimental testing and operational capability. With improved Raptor 3 engines, enhanced heat shields, reinforced structures, and refined staging mechanisms, Starship is moving closer to its ultimate goal making humanity multi-planetary. The journey from SN prototypes to V3 perfectly illustrates SpaceX's engineering philosophy. Test, fail, learn, improve, 
and do it all rapidly and transparently. While traditional aerospace development happens behind closed doors over decades, SpaceX has compressed this timeline dramatically, inviting us all to witness history unfold. As we await Flight 9 and the eventual unveiling of Starship Phi 3, we're not just watching rocket tests, we're witnessing the birth of technology that will fundamentally change our relationship with space. The stars have never been closer. If you found this breakdown informative, please hit that like button and share it with fellow space enthusiasts. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on Starship's evolution or what you're most excited to see in V3. Don't forget to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours for all the latest SpaceX developments and breakthrough space technologies. Until next time, keep looking up. In the world of aerospace engineering, failure isn't just expected. It's embraced as the path to innovation, and no company embodies this philosophy more than SpaceX. While most aerospace companies would take months to recover from a failed launch, SpaceX is already preparing for Starship Flight 9, mere days after the dramatic Flight 8 failure. This unrelenting drive is exactly why Starship, despite being the largest and most complex rocket ever built, continues its rapid development cycle. The contrast couldn't be more striking. Flight 8 just ended with a catastrophic explosion in the upper stage, yet SpaceX engineers are already implementing crucial fixes for the next launch. According to Elon Musk, Flight 9 could launch as soon as mid-April 2025, just four to six weeks from now. What makes this upcoming test so critical? Flight 9 represents a potential turning point after two consecutive failures. While Flight 6 had achieved the historic milestone of catching the Super Heavy booster with Mechazilla and successfully testing the upper stage through to splashdown, Flight 7 and 8 both ended in spectacular failures. Now with Booster 11 and Ship 30 already undergoing rigorous testing, SpaceX is focusing on three critical improvements. Enhanced Raptor engine reliability, upgraded attitude control systems, reinforced heat shield attachments. The stakes couldn't be higher. If successful, Flight 9 could surpass even the achievements of Flight 6 and potentially demonstrate satellite deployment capabilities, a crucial step towards Starship's planned role in expanding the Starlink constellation. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your front row seat to the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. To understand why Flight 9 is so crucial, we need to look